In this video, I want to show you the new Grok Code Fast One AI model from XAI. So this model is uh, yeah, relatively new and it is really cool. So I tested this model out for quite a few days now. And yeah, I must say I am really impressed with uh, the capabilities and also, of course, with the cost. So the cost um, when you want to use this, it is yeah, relatively low. So it is uh, much cheaper than when you are using, uh, for example, the newest ChatGPT model or if you want to use Anthropic or something like this. And I think coding wise, it is on, on the same level with all the top top AI models that currently out there. And yeah, in this video, I want to show you uh, what you can do with this. So in this video, I want to show you how you can code a custom plugin for WordPress, for example, or for WooCommerce. And then also I want to show you how you can uh, create a custom, custom game so that we have something to test and that I have something to show you here in this video. And yeah, in this video, I want to show you exactly how this works, what you have to do, and all the good stuff. So here we are right now on the official website from XAI or from the Grok Code Fast One model. So you can see uh, we are thrilled to introduce Grok Code Fast One, a speedy and economical reasoning model that excels at uh, agentic coding. So um, I will put all the links to the website in the, in the video description. Uh, down below, of course, that you can check it out yourself and read it yourself. Then um, here we have some examples. Here is something with image comparison. And here you can see they created a simple game or yeah, not a simple game, a cool game, always with the new Grog model here. Yeah, I will put the link in the video description down below that you can check it out yourself. And yeah, this is uh, really impressive. So then all you have to do in order to use this, of course, first of all, you need a Visual Studio Code. This is a free um, coding, coding platform that you can use. You can simply go to the website, download it for Windows, for Linux or for Mac OS. So I am on Mac. This is why I have the Mac OS button here. But um, yeah, you can, like I said, you can use this or install this on Windows, on Linux and so on. Simply go, it's, it's completely free. You can uh, click here and then download it and install this. I will also put the link to the website in the video description down below. And yeah, then uh, of course you have to um, create the API key for this. For this, um, I would, or I uh, prefer Open Router. So uh, openrouter.ai. And also here you can see um, the current ranking of Grok CodeFast 1. So Grok Code Fast One on Open Router is the the most used coding model model right now. Um, you can see when we hover over this, then we can see that uh, the new Grok Code Fast One model is the most used one. So and also you can uh, test it out with the free model. So they also offer a free model uh, um, from Grok Four. This is completely free, but when you want to use Grok Code Fast One, then um, yeah, you have to put a little uh, or a few funds on the website. Five dollars or something like this is more than enough to create anything you want. So this is um, the Grok Code Fast One is really cheap, and uh, yeah, then of course you have to uh, create your free account if you don't already have an, have a free account. Then you have to put a little bit of money on the platform five or ten dollars are more than enough and yeah then you can create your api key and also like i said like i showed you before you have to install um, a visual studio code a vs code on your computer then you have to start it and let me start visual studio code real quick okay now i open visual studio code and yeah, and then of course you have to install Klein. So we are using Klein for uh, coding. So if you don't, uh, or if you not already have installed Klein into um, Visual Studio Code, so Klein is an extension for Visual Studio Code that can uh, help you code um, any kind of programs or scripts or plugins or something like this. Simply go to uh, the extension tab here. When you click here, come on, 
then you can see I already installed Klein. Uh, let me restart this. And if you don't have, have this installed yet, then simply type in here uh, Klein in the search bar and then you can install this. And after you install this, then you see the new, the new icon here for Klein. You go here. And um, yeah, down below here, you have the, uh, the different options. So we have uh, two buttons here. You have Act and Plan. Now we have to choose our coding models for planning and acting mode. So simply click here. And then you can see you can choose a open router, for example. When you, simply, when you click here, then you have all the different um, AI models here or the providers, uh, client open router, is here, uh, Amazon Bedrock, DeepSeek, OpenAI, Olama, and so on and so forth. We, of course, want to use now open router. And then you have to put in your personal API key in here and then yeah, choose the right model. You can choose uh, yeah, the code fast one, or of course you can choose the free one if you simply want, or if you want to test this first. And the same, and then you can uh, minimize this. And then you have to go to the act tab. And here's the same. Here you choose uh, the provider, then uh, put in your API key, and then choose the AI model. Then we can minimize this. So, and then we want to uh, yeah, start a new project. And oh, first of all, of course, we have to open a new folder, then simply go to file. Uh, yeah, go to file and then open folder. Uh, I think you cannot, stop. you can see this. Then let me go to uh, open the new folder, grog demo. Okay, now we have opened the folder, then we can close this. And now we can put in our task here. So let me click on plan. And let me grab um, the file where I created the task for our WordPress plugin. Grab this real quick, copy, paste. So uh, here you can see what I want to build with, with GrogFast. Then uh, build a WordPress plugin called Dashboard Task and Notes. This plugin should allow me to save messages, notes directly on the main WordPress dashboard, edit them, etc. This plugin should make it uh, easier for me to create and save personal notes. The plugin should also offer a function for creating task lists, uh, and user should be and the user should be able to. Check mark completed task uh, to see which tasks are still open and which have already been completed. Um, the plugin, the plugin's design should be modern and colorful. So then um, the notes and the tasks should only be visible to the admin of the main WordPress dashboard. Yeah, great. Then we are right now on the planning on the planning mode, and then yeah, let's uh, fire this command and let's see. Um, okay, what's this here? Now we can see, uh, we can click here on auto approve and approve. And also here you can see the price or the cost for this uh, project. You can see we have almost any. And of course now <laughs> we have an error message here. Then we simply click on retry. Of course, uh, yeah, it's uh, Sunday right now, and I think now everyone um, is testing this out. So come on, approve. Okay, here's the plan. Now the plan for our plugin is finished. So you can see, um, based on the research WordPress dashboard widget API and plugin development best practice, I can now uh, provide a detailed plan for building your dashboard task and note plugin. Uh, then uh, the plugin will add a, a secure dashboard widget visible only for the admin user, uh, so on and so on. Then you can read the, the full the full um, plan here. And if you have to, if you want to make any changes, then uh, of course you can, uh, yeah, type in your desired changes, your yeah, the changes you want to make in the plan. And after everything is okay, then you can simply click the act mode or simply click here and then yeah now um, our plugin will 
yeah, will get generated. You can see here are all the files. So what is he doing now? So now he is creating the main PHP file, the new PHP file, the main plugin file. Um, this can take a while, but let's see. Okay, so now um, the plugin is finished, the first version. This was faster than I thought. It took only about uh, one or two minutes or something like this. Then, um, yeah, that's completed. Uh, the WordPress plugin dashboard task and notes has been so successfully developed. What I've created, you can see the structure of all the files, of all the plugin files, what they are doing and so on. And if you want to change anything, uh, you can also, or you can, of course, put it in here and send the message. Then, uh, yeah, then let's uh, test this plugin out. If the plugin is working or not, let me show you the folder. Here's the folder. Uh, dashboard, task, and notes. When we open this, then we can see all the files in here. Go back. Then we simply have to right click this and then compress the whole folder. So now we have our zip file. And now let me open a test WordPress website real quick. Okay, and here is our test website. Then let's go to plugins, 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 add new plugin. Then we go to upload plugin. And then let me grow, grab the zip file that we have zipped install now. And then activate. And now let's see if the plugin works or not. So the plugin is installed and activated. Uh, where is there? It is uh, dashboard task and notes. Mm, let's go to the dashboard. Maybe we can. Ah, there it is. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, looks cool. So here we can write our notes. So then we can save this. Okay, this works, perfect. And here we can um, create the task, task one, add task. And yeah, oh, this is cool. Then we can delete it, we can edit the task. Yeah, this plugin is really cool. So you can see how fast you can create your own uh, custom WordPress and WooCommerce plugins. So really cool. This works, so perfect. Then let me, uh, let me minimize this. Uh, well, now I want to show you how you can create um, custom scripts or a, a custom game, for example, only uh, to show you the capabilities of the new Grob model. So then uh, let's go again to file, uh, open folder. I want to open a new folder. Okay, now I opened a complete new folder. Then um, again, we go to Klein. And here we can stay directly into the act, in the act mode. Then let me let me grab the next the next task. Task. So this is this is a simple task I created real quick. So uh, create a simple but fun shooter game with Python. Uh, after creating the game, install all the necessary components and run the Python script. So then let's fire the command. Uh, let's see what happens now. Okay, perfect. There we go. I think now it's working. Yeah, yeah. You can see now. Um, yeah, he he created our um simple shooter game. You can see the file name is shooter game dot shooter game dot py. And yeah, let's see what we will get here. Okay, now you can see he is installed. He installed currently the, the necessary components. Pi game. Or Mac OS X. Okay, so now everything has been success successfully installed, and um, yeah, the game already opened in on my um, other monitor. <laughs> and here you can see, oh, already game over. Uh, let me see. Um, okay, uh, he is finished. So then let's restart the game. Grab this command here. Put it here. Let's restart the game. Okay, how, did, ah, okay, we have to use our keyboard and how can I, ah, here, can I shoot? Okay. Oh, okay, got it. Okay, uh, yeah, I have to try it out um, when I am um, 
yeah not busy <laughs> filming videos so yeah but uh yeah just to show you how what you can do with this and how easy it is and yeah so everything um now i showed you everything let me go back here so the plugin is really cool uh if you want to have the plugin um then i will put the link to this plugin to my github page then you go there and simply download this this wordpress plugin for free if you want to have this and yeah then and also all the other links i will also put in the video description down below for visual studio code um for open router and also this website where you can read everything about the new ai model grok code fast one from xai and yeah i think that's it for the video so if you have any questions um let me let me know in the comments down below i will try to answer all your questions as soon as i can and also yeah if you found the video informative if you learned something new then yeah please press the thumbs up button and also please uh, yeah subscribe to my youtube channel i'm a small creator and for me every like every subscription counts and yeah then that's it for the video thank you very much for your time thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye guys